Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video we are going to talk about idioms and phrases of our mood. If you are interested, please continue watching this video and let's get started. There are so plenty of idioms and phrases we can use to express our current form of mood. It will help describing uh, our entire range of emotion and it also uh, help uh, ever others to know exactly how we feel. For you, here are some training of English phrases and idioms to show our feelings. First, uh, we're going to talk about happy mood uh, and uh, phrase number one, flying high. It means so extremely happy. For example, she is flying high after the success interview. Phrase number two, pumped up. It means when you were so excited uh, about something. Uh, for instance, he is pumped up for his first salary. Next phrase, fool's paradise. The situation when somebody is happy because they are ignoring a problem or fail to realize its existence. Uh, to illustrate, you are must in a fool's paradise if you are think it will rain at the moment of such hot summers. Idiom number four on the top of the world when you are elated or euphoric uh, because uh, a grade of accomplishment let's say cindy and matt had just purchased their dream house in chicago suburb so they are felt on the top of the world next idiom in high spirit it means um, when something makes you in a happy jolly mood for example the holidays put me in a high spirit next we're gonna talk about a sad mood uh, in english um, there are some uh, idioms and phrases express our sad Idiom number one, to feel blue. It means when you are sad, depressed, uh, or tired. For example, uh, I feel blue. I have no idea what do I do. Idiom number two, down in the dumps. Uh, when you are so upset and uh, uh, maybe without hope. For instance, she is a bit down in the dumps because she got makes her exam again. Idiom number three, be at the end of the rope. It means uh, when you are so upset or because uh, you no longer able to deal with difficult situation. Let's say, sounds like you are at the end of the rope. Next idiom, bumped out. It means when you are uh, depressed, uh, discouraged or uh, disappear. Uh, he bumped out because his favorite restaurant just went out of business. Move on. Next, we're going to learn idioms and phrases uh, uh, of being scared. Uh, it's so interesting, I guess. Idiom number one, shaking up. If you are shaking up, you might be uh, so frightened or shocked by something. Todd was shaking up after a car accident. Next phrase, dumped out of your skin. It, uh, it means when you are uh, extremely frightened or startled. Uh, let's say, I almost jumped out of my skin when light became on and everybody screamed happy birthday. Next phrase, afraid of own shadow. Sometimes uh, people who appear the most confident are actually afraid of 
own shadows. Last idiom which describes cured mood um, is make blood run cold. Many people said that when uh, they are scared, uh, it makes uh, them feel cold all of, the, of a sudden. For example, my blood ran cold, it scared me so much. Uh, move on, next we are going to learn idioms and phrases uh, about feeling unfocused or um, distract. Idiom number one, space out. It means when we are not paying attention, attention what uh, happened around us. For example, do you listen to me? You seem like space out. Next phrase, out of it. It means when uh, you are not aware what happened around you or you uh, you in a confused state. Let's say, if I don't drink a coffee, I feel out of it all day. Next, we are going to discuss idioms and phrases, uh, vice versa, about feeling foxed. Uh, these phrases uh, locked in, dialed in, and uh, in the zone. Uh, these idioms describe when we stayed um, on uh, total foxed on, or concentration, uh, or uh, doing something uh, in a high level. For example, whole team locked in right now and I've never seen the, them play so well. Or, it's hard to me to be in the zone when I am listening to louder music. Idioms about feeling annoyed or frustrated. Feed up with, uh, have had enough and you can't take anymore. For example, Donna finally break up with Paul because she fed up with his fear of commitment. Or, I've had enough of your lies, just tell me truth. Or, Ben said he couldn't take anymore so he changed his job. Guys, that's all for today. I really, really hope that this class will be more helpful and useful for you. And I want to end up this class with great quote. A great future don't require a great past. See ya.